guys I am back with another video and today I'm gonna use some products that I hauled and I actually uploaded a video already on it if you want to check it out I'll link it up above I used all of those products to create this look so if you're interested you can definitely check it out now let's get into using some new makeup but I'm gonna go ahead and get started I already have my skincare done and I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and usually I go ahead and prep my brows with like a little powder but but I'm gonna go ahead and use the new Danessa Myricks palette I know you all have seen it all over the YT this is what it looks like the larger pans are cream and the smaller pans are powder okay let me see for my brows I think I'm gonna use sculpt it and that would be this shade right here so as I go into the product it's not like a traditional cream. It's kind of hard to explain. So I'm gonna brush my brows up. All right, so it appears to be going on very easily, very naturally. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, so I have the brows on. So next up, I'm gonna use the one size, and this is the Brow Kiki. And this is what it looks like, this is the shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush my brows up. It does look kind of messy, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up with a concealer. So the concealer that I'm gonna use to clean that up with is, put my readers on, the Glossier Stretch Balm Concealer. This is it. This is the shade. It is kind of light, but I'll have everything listed below. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and carve my brows out. And so far what I can tell you about it, it does seem to be really creamy, easy to apply. All right, I got one eye done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other. Okay, so I have a concealer here by Tower 28 and I did haul a couple of concealers, so what I'm gonna try to do is use all of them so you all can kind of see how they apply. You can see how the shade looks on my skin tone, but this is it. So I'm going to just apply it here. And this concealer seems to have like a cooling effect or I'm not sure if that's on purpose, but that's like what I'm getting. All right, so now I'm gonna blend that out with a brush. And it seems to be blending in really well with the other concealer. So as you can see, this particular concealer is, for the most part of it, I think my shade, my regular shade. So when I use this in the future, it would be just to kind of touch up as opposed to highlighting. All right, so this is what we have so far. So far it's looking really good. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with the Danessa Myricks palette and I am going to use this lighter shade right here as a brow bone highlight. And I'm just going to use a really small brush like that. Since the pan is so small, okay, just get a smaller brush and just tap it in like so. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tap it up here. Uh, 
Okay, and now I'm just gonna take another brush and just kind of wipe away the excess. All right, and to set the rest of the eye, I'm gonna use this powder by Milk, and I'm just gonna put a little bit in my cap, and this is the shade. And I think this is really good. That way you can see how it behaves with other products. All right, so this is what we're working with. Now I'm gonna apply this terracotta shade in my crease. And I'm not gonna do the most with this. Okay, it's very subtle. Uh, that particular shade doesn't stand out too much. And it could be because of the powder that I just applied. So I'm probably gonna use that deeper shade to kind of deepen it up. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and put it in the outer V. Oh, that's a little bit deeper than I was anticipating, but that's fine. Alright, now I'm going to blend that out. All right, right there, um, it seems to have lifted. Uh, I'm gonna try to add some more of the darker shade to kind of address that. And I'm thinking that could be the, um, the concealer or the powder that I used to set it, the milk makeup powder, I'm not sure what's causing that patch, but we're gonna keep moving. So for the inner eye highlight, I'm gonna use this Benefit highlighter in the shade Cookie, this is it. And I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm going to go just like this. You can use a brush, you can use your finger, you can use however you feel comfortable getting it on. All right, and now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go back in with this chocolate shade and put it right here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll be right back. All right, so I have the other side done and I feel like I have the same patch like right there. I set the concealer before I applied the eyeshadow, so something's not playing well together. So what I'm gonna do is I'll probably do some more looks using this palette and see how it performs with other products. I need to check to see if she has a base, like an eyeshadow base, and go from there. Or maybe I just should have used this cream as the base and then applied the eyeshadow over it. I probably should have done that. But either way, this is what we have now. So now I'm going to apply an eyeliner and I'm gonna use this black shade right here. I'm gonna go from there. And I love the fact that with this palette, you can do a little bit of everything, almost. I feel like it's taking a bit much for it to be applied, however, on the flip side, I do like that because it kind of keeps you from making a mistake. Sometimes when you have too much product, if you have a little slip of the hand or anything, that's it. You, it can mess your whole eye look up. So. I 
I love the fact that it's matte. I love that. And that's it. I think that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all of that applied and I do love the fact that it's matte. I love any type of eyeliner that dries matte. So I really do like that. It does take a lot to apply it. If you have a bunch of eyeshadow on and other makeup products, it probably will go on a little bit smoother or faster if it was just my eye alone. So now I'm going to use my Makeup Forever. Let's put on, Let's put on the glasses. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette sculpt, Face Sculpting Palette. So the way that I'm going to use this, I'm going to go ahead and sculpt everything and apply the foundation, and then I'm going to smooth it out. So it's going to be kind of like I'll have everything applied, and then I'll blend it out. So this is what the palette looks like. This is the cover and here are all the shades. Alright, so I'm going to go in with the, the deepest shade. And you can barely see it on my skin tone. Uh, I would consider my skin tone brown. I don't, I don't think that they have a darker palette but let's just keep it moving and see what happens and I don't do a lot of contouring on my nose um, only because I don't care about it looking much small uh, I guess narrow more narrow than it than it already is so I don't do a lot of that you'll probably you probably noticed in other videos okay seems creamy goes on well I love it to me it does seem to have a little bit of a red undertone and it reminds me a lot of the elf palette it reminds me a lot of that one. okay all right so for highlighting under the eyes I'm gonna use the milk makeup concealer Alright, and for foundation, I'm going to use this La Mer foundation. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. And for the bronzer, I'm going to use another brush. And then for the concealer, I'm going to use a brush. going to go back in and carve my brows out at the top with the foundation. All right, so this is what we have so far. Okay. I'm hoping <laughs> this looks good on your end. From what I can see, it's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and set this under eye powder, but I'm going to use the Sephora finishing powder. This is the shade. So I already had this. This isn't anything that I hauled, but I do like the way 
the skin looks after you use it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my under eye with it. And it does tone down all of that brightness from the concealer, as you can see. It tones that down because it is a deeper shade. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set everything and I'm gonna use this new powder by Lady Gaga. I think the way you pronounce it is Haas. Comes in a package like this and this is the shade. If you can't read it, I'll have it listed below. Okay, I almost feel as though this shade is too light for me. It probably is. I'll be able to tell really well once I start editing. And I'm just gonna use this Sephora bronzer. And then I'm gonna take another brush just kind of go over the edges. And now I'm gonna go over everything with my Light Catcher Powder by Laura Mercier. Alright, now I'm going to just add a lipstick by Maybelline. And for a lip gloss, I'm going to use the MAC lip gloss in clear looks like this. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of it on the back of my hand and then add it to my lips because I don't want, I don't like for this to get all dirty. All right, and now I'm going to set it with this Milk Makeup Setting Spray. All right, I'm gonna add some lashes and I'll be right back. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with the eyelashes on and this is the final look. Let me know down in the comments if you tried any of these products and if so, how well did you like them? Let me know, I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.